Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos today. So today I wanted to share with you easy and fun ways to manifest money because I think when we, uh, you know, put fun and happy vibes and easy vibes out with money, it can be fun to manifest money. It doesn't need to be feared. It doesn't need to be a serious manifestation. You can inject as much fun and ease as all of your manifestations like you do with all of the rest of them into your money manifestations as well. So here are my top tips. First of all is to write yourself a check each month. Now you don't have to use a physical check out of your bank. I have got one which is exclusively in my new book Positively Wealthy which is out in June. So I will put the link down below to be able to access your Positively Wealthy check. So what you're going to do with this check is each month you can do it on a new moon or you can do it just at the beginning of each month. Set yourself a money goal. So this is a fun creative way by writing writing yourself out a physical check to manifest money for the month ahead. So you could either put the total figure you'd like to manifest, including your salary, if you want to, or you could just put the amount of extra money you would like to manifest this month. Tune in, see what you vibe with, and write that amount down on the check. And obviously write your name on there. And when it says for, you can either put, if you're self-employed, your business, you could put for work, you could just leave it blank if you would like to have unexpected abundance from the universe from a way which doesn't have to be work. So you can leave that blank. And in the date section, what you're going to do is put 30 days from now. So you could put the end of the month, you could put 30 days from the date you write it. It's important that you give yourself 30 days so that when I know a lot of the time I check, they tell you to put like today's date, but you know, in your subconscious, you're going to think, oh, well, I haven't manifested that. And it's that day already. So my top tip for you is to write 30 days, give yourself 30 days and write an amount that feels good to you. The first figure that comes into your head. This is a great fun way to manifest and you can keep this check on your vision board, on your little spiritual altar, um, with your new moon practice, whatever feels good, keep this check safe for the month and then have a look at it in a month's time and see what's manifested. My second tip to manifest money with fun and ease is the wouldn't it be nice method. So you may have heard me talk about this in quite a few videos and I love this method because it's such a relaxed way to manifesting. So this is an Abraham and Esther Hicks um, manifesting method and all you need to write down is wouldn't it be nice if. So you could write wouldn't it be nice if today I manifested a hundred pounds. Wouldn't it be nice if this month I manifested 2,000 pounds? Whatever it may be, the wouldn't it be nice method is a great way to feel into your manifestations. It's a great way to work up that emotional scale where you're not like saying, I will manifest 2,000 pounds and almost like putting that pressure on yourself. The wouldn't it be nice method is a great, fun, stress-free way to manifest because it would be nice. And almost when you have that relaxed approach of, wouldn't it be nice? You can always relate to that from whatever point you are on the emotional scale. Even if you do not believe it, you would think, yeah, it would be really nice to have that. And for a couple of my clients who really struggle to believe with their manifestations, I always get them to do the wouldn't it be nice method. I do this myself when I'm really struggling to believe something and it works every single time. So use the wouldn't it be nice method. All you need to do is write down a few statements of wouldn't it be nice if such and such happens. So use this for your money manifestations and it will take a whole heap of pressure off you. Number three is mindful spending. So this is another great fun way as well as a good mindset tip here to help you have fun with your money, to create even more fun and abundance with more money that you manifest. So mindful spending is something that I've created and again features in my new book, Positively Wealthy, which is a step where you really need to take accountability of what you're spending. So I'm not talking about household bills. I'm not talking about the necessities. I'm talking about the luxuries or extras that you buy each month. So what I would really do when you come across something you really want to buy, are you like, should I get it? Should I not? Really tune in, hold that item and think, is this item going to bring me joy? How does it make me feel? If it feels good, the item brings you joy and you know that you're gonna wear it a lot, have lots of use out of it, or the service is like, yes, this feels good to me, 
absolutely go ahead with it because then when you see the item, wear the item, use that item, you're going to associate those joyful, happy feelings with that item instead of thinking, oh God, why did I spend that money? And on the flip side, if you hold something and you're just not sure, put it back, wait a few weeks if you have to, because we could all hold our hands up and say we mindlessly spend. So we need to mindfully spend and make sure that when we're on a budget or when we're watching our pennies, when we're like, you know, being sensible, that you only buy things that make you energetically feel good because then when you look at your bank balance, you're not gonna think, oh God, I really shouldn't have bought that. You're gonna look at it and say, okay, Okay, maybe that has gone down a bit, but actually that item or that service is really going to bring me joy and feels good to me. So make sure every time that you're purchasing something or a service that you use the mindfully spending tip to feel good about what you're purchasing. If it doesn't feel good right now, just wait a couple of weeks. Wait until you get paid. Wait until it feels good to buy that item because you will feel so much more positive by just waiting those few weeks and waiting to see whether it is something you really need than rather spending it then and regretting it and looking at your bank balance and feeling negative because those negative vibes are not going to manifest you money. So use mindful spending and let me know how you get on. And my last tip is to use crystals to manifest money. Now this is not a very common tip that is out there but absolutely crystals can also help us to manifest money. So citrine for example which is this bracelet I wear all the time is a great manifesting crystal. So it attracts abundance, it helps you to manifest. So citrine is just a really great all-round crystal to have at any point but is equally fantastic for wealth and attracting money. Pyrite is another crystal which again attracts money into your life. It's great for grounding, it's great for opening you up and it's great for really just bringing in that money. So it's great especially if you're a new business owner starting a new business, pyrite is a great crystal to have in your life. Green jade is also a fantastic crystal to have not only for the heart chakra, it opens up your heart. It's also great for longevity, sustainability. If you're looking for long-term financial goals, green jade is a fantastic crystal to have. Emerald is another fantastic crystal. It increases the flow of money and abundance to you and it also attracts wealth, success and prosperity. So who wouldn't want that one? Emerald is a great crystal to have. I love the energy of Emerald. And Tiger's Eye is a wealth magnet. It is a healing crystal and also attracts wealth. So what I would do with all of these crystals is I would actually like create a little money corner as such. So put them in a little bowl, put it next to your check you're doing monthly, put it maybe in your office or workplace somewhere you're going to see it regularly which is associated with money and see how you get on. Now, I love doing all of these. To me, they're fun, they're easy, and it works every single time. So try these steps, let me know how you get on, and let me know your fun and easy ways to manifest money as well. So thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook, where you can join myself and other like-minded souls, where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality and don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all. So I hope you have a fantastic week whatever you are up to and I'll see you all in my next video which will be next week. Lots of love guys!